Guys, what if I told you that the football club with La Liga's second smallest stadium and second cheapest squad is currently sitting in first place at the Spanish top flight, and that this same club was playing in the second division of Spanish football just two seasons ago? While it may sound like a football fairy tale, the story of Girona FC is very much a reality and is undoubtedly the biggest, most impressive story in Spain this season. With a group of virtual unknowns led by an even less recognized manager, Girona have become the first team not named Barcelona, Real, or Atletico Madrid to lead La Liga 13 games into a season. But who are the talented players making this possible? How on earth are Girona leading La Liga? Well, the conversation starts with City Football Group, a holding company owned by Man City chairman Sheikh Mansour since 2013. CFG owns and operates several football clubs across the world, including NYCFC, Melbourne FC, Manchester City, and as of 2017, Girona Football Club. They won promotion to La Liga two seasons ago via playoffs under Spanish manager Miguel Angel Sanchez Munoz, or simply Michel. The Madrid-born manager led the Catalan club to a 10th place finish last year thanks to the contributions of key players like top scorers. Tati Castellanos, Premier League proven midfielder Oriel Romeu, and four year servant Santiago Bueno at center back. But all three of these consistent starters would be sold before the beginning of this season, however, in addition to several other key players from the starting 11. Which brings us to present day, where we see a new set of unique players and tactics, as Michel sets his team up in a 3 1 6 in possession, with the former Premier League goalkeeper at its base, a versatile back three protecting him, their Spanish captain in the pivot, a well rounded partnership further up midfield, young attack attacking wingbacks out wide, two of Ukraine's most lethal forwards at striker and right wing, and perhaps the most exciting player on the entire team on the left. So let's put names to those faces, starting with their wonder boy. Girona's 19-year-old superstar goes by the name Savino. The left-footed forward arrived this summer on loan from French club Troyes, after a hamstring injury hampered his loan spell at PSV last season. He's fully recovered since his move to Spain and is proving to be a potential signing of the season, already racking up four goals and four assists in just 13 league appearances so far. Far. Savino has deadly ball striking ability for a boy his age and possesses the prolific pace and dribbling ability that his countrymen are known for, a skill set that's resulted in Savino having some of the best possible dribbling metrics across Europe's top five leagues. Not only does Savino lead his entire team in attempted and successful take-ons by ridiculous margins, he also happens to lead all of Spanish football in total progressive carries. But he's not the only exciting winger on the team. Move over to Hirona's right side and we find Viktor Sigankov. Sigankov is probably the Ukrainian Chelsea wish they signed last January, as Hirona paid Dynamo Kyiv just 5 million euros for his services and were immediately repaid with 9 total goal contributions in just half the league season. His assist numbers prove he's much more a creator of goals rather than a natural scorer himself. But like Savino, Sigankov can accelerate quickly in 1v1 situations and actually boasts carrying metrics that are just as impressive as his Brazilian teammates. Now his 2 goals and 2 assists this year might look underwhelming, but that's because all of Hirona's attacks feed Artem Dovbek, their lethal striker. Segankov's fellow countryman has put the team's offensive responsibility atop his broad shoulders, and in doing so actually leads the squad in total goals and assists. His 6-2 frame and raw strength make him an absolute headache in the box, which is where his teammates and manager can always expect to find him. He's a no-nonsense finisher who links up play effectively in the most dangerous area of the pitch. Hirona's front three are bolstered by the equally impressive partnership of Venezuela and Yanhel Herrera, and Spaniard Ivan Martin. The attacking midfield duo accounts for more than a fifth of Hirona's total goal output this season, with Herrera's last-minute strike against Celta winning his team a massive three points, while the blinding speed of Hirona's counterattack can be seen in Martin's composed tap-in versus Osasuna. But both midfielders are given plenty of defensive responsibility as well, with Yanhel Herrera leading the entire squad in total tackles so far, and Ivan Martin coming in second for total dribbler's challenge with Herrera right behind him. Which brings us to the man just ahead of them, Hirona's most important player, their latest captain. Alex Garcia. As the lone pivot in transition, the Spanish midfielder is given the most defensive and offensive responsibility on the team, a paramount role entrusted to the man who played for Girona from 2017 to 2019, journeyed across Belgium, Romania, and Spain for two years just to come back to the place he now calls home. Aside from being a leader of the locker room, Garcia is literally leader of the team in several metrics, including total completed passes, total touches, tackles and interceptions, and total crosses. Garcia is also the only outfield player to appear in every possible league minute of the season so far, with his incredible engine on full display when observing his ludicrous heat map. 
but despite his relentless work rate, Garcia needs help covering wider areas of the pitch, which is where wingbacks Miguel Gutierrez and Jan Cotto come into play, aged 22 and 21 respectively. Both defenders are at the start of their careers and offer the energy and mobility to flank up and down the wings as they support attacking buildup as well as defensive transition. With the Brazilian Cotto unsurprisingly the more offensively gifted of the two, while Gutierrez offers a lot more defensive cover with elite ball recovery metrics. But the real generals of the defense can be found further back, as Espanol icon David Lopez and Dutch veteran Daly Blin make up the back three. As their strongest defender, David Lopez's job is to impose his physicality on the opposition, but has also chipped in offensively this season too, scoring two goals in the league so far. But believe it or not, the man who never won critics over at Man United and was seen as the type of player who could only dominate there at Divise is the most important defender on Girona's entire team. His passing range and vision is exemplary of the Ajax institution he was nurtured by, and is legitimately one of the most dangerous and accurate passers amongst Europe's best centre-backs. Blin's ability is a major key in Hirona's build-up as he leads the team in both total medium passes completed and total progressive carrying distance, while former Tottenham goalkeeper Paulo Gazaniga sits between the sticks. The Argentine excels at stopping crosses from open play as well as set-pieces, and has conceded fewer goals than his expected goals against metric, which indicates he's saving Hirona points rather than costing them. Michel demands that his back three carry the football with confidence as they recycle possession through Alex Garcia, who will look to either send the ball wide to his wingbacks or feed his midfield partners further up ahead. The wider the wingbacks play, the more space Savinho and Stigankov have to cut inside, where they can choose to either shoot at goal or link up with Dovbik inside the penalty area, a game plan that prioritizes possession, precision, and fluid positioning. Now, there's no telling if Michel's team will be able to maintain these levels of performances all year long, but they're not just earning points on a table this season. They're earning respect from all of Spanish football, and it's only a matter of time before the rest of the world takes notice too. If you liked today's video, go ahead and watch another. As always, I'm Andy, first team all sideline.